white lines showing how things will so, Yeah, we're it's gonna be in the library then. Sasha. Marcus looking huge. Look at those guns. Jesus. Into the twice as good to break the ala. She knows how to separate it. She's doing that consciously. It's like Sergio's guns. Smile beautiful. All in my hands, I know. Be careful. Don't get it on fire. I'll kill myself right here. You don't understand. I know it's safe. I knew I was a recover. That would be counterproductive to work out again before my body fully recovered because if you don't recover, you don't grow. It's something you got to start thinking seriously about your own life. I'm standing by. Once every seven days is almost magic compared to anything else. Now there are some people who can tolerate even less stress than that. Some people only train once every two to three weeks. The muscle magazines say everybody train six times a week for an hour and a half. Your ability, Mido, to tolerate exercise is a genetically determined trait. And like all genetically determined traits, it too is expressed across a broad continuum. The most readily observed genetic trait is height, where you've got midgets at one extreme, two foot eight, and eight foot giants at the other. With regard to intelligence, you have medical morons Mike. who can't even add one plus one. At the other end, you've got super geniuses who can do advanced trigonometry in their head. Mike, regards to developing a suntan. We're ready. What's that? We're ready. I'm explaining something to you. Okay, well. With regards to developing a suntan, again, a genetic trait, you've got light skinned people, Scandinavians, who tolerate literally almost zero sunlight stress. At the other extreme, you've got dark skinned people, including Negroes, who tolerate much more. Well, the same thing applies with individual exercise stress tolerance. You've got midgets of exercise stress tolerance who can't work out hardly at all, and you've got those that the other team who can tolerate an hour, about three or four days a week. My, my primary task as a trainer is to find out what your body's optimal volume and frequency requirement is. Okay, let's go. Let's get moving. Nobody in the world ever said that before. Yeah, I like that tip. I'm going to take it. All right, Mansar, let's go. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. Let's get going. All right, let's get going. Oh, I think 
Okay, ready? Yeah, we're ready when our talent's ready. Mike, so what's going on? How do you feel? I feel very good. We're in the midst of making history. This is going to be the best exercise videotape of all time. It's not just because I say so, but because we've got some great people working with us, including Marcus, I think. 